Hey, welcome to another video from Skimming. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. Put this on real quick. Okay. Now, I feel like the NBC reporter. No. It has to be like this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like this. This is how they're giving interviews. Yeah, they're kind of like this. And I'm like, that's not really covering your nose. And then it has like. Talk. <laughs> I'll put a link in a video right here. It's kind of funny. We watched NBC News and they were giving reports and their mask falls down and this lady's like wearing gloves and she's touching her face and I'm like stop, just stop, okay? So if you're wearing this out in public like they say we're supposed to, it has a little metal shield on it so you can form it around your nose so it doesn't fall off your nose. When you go to put it on, uh, don't touch this part, try not to. Uh, if it's new it's not a big deal but if you've been wearing it over and over again, don't touch this part and know that this is the outside because if you're reusing it, you don't want to go to Walmart and then take this off and then put the wrong side on. It happens. Um, so when you're going to put it on, just use tie to touch around here. Make sure it's covered your face. It expands open. You can pinch the little nose thing here and don't touch your face. Okay? It's kind of the point of the mask. Um, when you're going to take it off, don't grab it like this either. Grab by the ear loops and kind of pull it down, things like that. Um, I've seen where a lot of the nurses are putting them in a brown paper bag when they take them off because they're reusing them. Mm -hmm. Not the best thing to reuse is obviously it's just kind of the market we're in right now. Um, I've seen people spraying them on Lysol stuff like that and just letting them dry to reuse them. Um, it just sucks trying to reuse our PPE but it is what it is right now. Uh, but this week was supposed to be the week uh, and we didn't really see it so um, I feel like the, the self-quarantine is probably what is contributing to that. I'd like to think that. I wouldn't think the government would lie to us and tell us that we're going to have 200,000 people dead and we were at like 20,000. But yeah. Well, if maybe there was someone other than a very strong, voiced, opinionated Republican in there, I might worry more. Yeah. But so the numbers aren't what they say, uh, which is... A good thing. We're not trying to say there's, you know, I wish you know, 200,000 Americans would die. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not saying that. But I think in self quarantine, I think what we're seeing is helping um, as far as the flu numbers and stuff like that. You know, we're seeing the same numbers. But at the same time, if we would do this during flu season, then the flu numbers would be bottomed out as well. So um, now I'm just kind of looking forward to how to reopen states. Uh, all the states are currently shut down at some point. So now looking forward to say, all right, how do we open things back up? to get the economy back going uh, and try to get the unemployment rate back to what it was, get small businesses going and stuff like that. So hopefully it'll be like they did before. Uh, they've shut down different states from hot spots. As those start to clear out, those numbers look better, they'll open us back up. And um, I don't know, pretty frustrated. Um, I feel like we're going to see this again in my lifetime. And it's like, we, they shut us down pretty quick. So I think we'll see this again in my lifetime. But hopefully we'll get back going, the economy get back going and we'll enjoy summer and we'll have a good time. So. Um, today is Easter Sunday, Resurrection Day, uh, for those of you who call it that. Uh, how do we celebrate? We celebrated on our front porch at 9 o'clock this morning with a couple of our neighbors. We read the scripture out loud and we sang some praise songs, some hymns. We used Spotify, turned it on and sang along. Um, we did some prayer and we didn't like have a sermon or anything like that. We all just shared some of our thoughts, some scripture that jumped out at us. Talked a little bit about what's going on and just how, you know, he's our focus. So it was good. It was a really sweet time. Something different and the slowing down has allowed those things to happen. So for that, I'm grateful. How did we prepare for this week? What did you have me doing? Oh, <laughs> well first, last Sunday, I think it was, I was thinking about how I'd love to have a cross because, you know, that cross represents the death and resurrection. So we have those nice, big, pretty cedar beams on our back porch, and I was thinking about stringing some Christmas lights up there and making a cross out of them. And then I saw on the news Monday morning 
that there's a was a Facebook group where everybody was putting crosses in their yard and lighting them for Easter. And so then I had to do it. So he gladly climbed a ladder and put some nails up there and strung some Christmas lights. And then... The things we'll do for our wives, guys. <laughs> Risk my life to do this. Oh, my word. Just up on a ladder trying to do a cross for Mrs. Skinny Medic. But it was on the back of our house. Everybody was putting crosses in the front of the house. So that was bothering me a little bit. And I kind of been thinking about it. I was like, yeah, what's on the back? I want something on the front. So then my neighbor got her husband to build her cross and put it in the front. So Dietrich was like, great. Now I have to do one, right? Well, he was busy. I don't know what he was doing. I was looking for goat fence. Oh, he was looking for goat fence because NJ's begging for goats. So since we're home, he's been working on the goat fence. And we also, it was Good Friday that I decided to do this. And we had our church service, online church service for Good Friday coming up. And I knew, I was like, we're going to run out of time. And then it's going to be dinner time. And then it's going to be dark. And we're not going to get the cross up on Good Friday. So I decided, I have two capable hands. I can do this. So I found some scrap wood from, left from the house. I built a cross and I dug a hole. So I can dig a hole just like the best of them. And came home to a cross with Christmas lights on it. <laughs> had a leftover purple like throwaway um tablecloth from the dollar tree i had remembered i had wadded up somewhere put it out draped it on there good to go so the youtuber came out to me and i was like babe did you get any video of this she's like no nah. i don't think to grab a camera she grabbed a camera like what is this thing you digging a hole like dirty i've been fun so <laughs> next time i decide to dig a hole i will set up my camera first <laughs> awesome cool so things are going good with us um, we're working on the goat pen. I've got the corner post in, I've got the T post up. Hopefully stretch the goat wire this week. Uh, I've got a goat house ready to go. Get some pygmy goats. And I want a fainting goat. That's going to be my entertainment. I'm going to make that joker pass out. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Poor thing. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, I haven't been to the store since last week. You know, I said last Sunday, I told y'all I alcohol sprayed the buggy down and I just did a big giant haul and I haven't been back. Since this was supposed to be the week it got bad, I really didn't pay attention to the, the county next to us. I know their numbers have been going up, but I don't think they've even been horrible. Um, our county's only been going up a couple of days, and then our actual little town is still at one positive. <laughs> and it's been at one positive for like, this is like the third week now, maybe? I think so. So, still not super concerned about our area. People do seem to be staying home other than the grocery store, so... You know, maybe they'll let us out soon since we're behaving and not spreading it. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what New Yorkers are doing up there, but... I don't know. There's a lot of tests about the antibody mm. test. Uh, that looks pretty cool. You know, you see that this is, you know, you can take the test and maybe you already, you're immune to it or whatever. So you don't have to have the vaccine, things like that. So there's a lot of promising stuff. It will be interesting to see. There's a lot of people talking about this may have been here earlier than we thought because everybody was saying what january yeah and i didn't think like november like some of you guys that went to shot show no people went to shot show like people had a nasty thing coming out of shot show so uh yeah. that all tested flu negative so be curious to see what with these antibodies test how many people who had been sick yeah be interesting to know there's just so much we don't know yet so we're kind of waiting staying alert and watching and hoping that we're getting some truth in the midst of all of it. So. Yeah, that's what we just want some truth. You know, stay in the middle. We, we've been the whole way through this process, kind of staying in the middle ground. We weren't panicking. We weren't, you know, 100%, you know, on board, but we weren't blowing it off either. So we were just kind of in the middle, which is still where we're at. So, mm -hmm. which is probably a good spot to be for you guys. So if I'd recommend that. So awesome. So if you guys seem to like these weekly update videos, um, as long as I can keep talking to Mrs. Skin Megan coming on, um, I can get her on the podcast or something like that next. We'll do it. Um, then Sean, Sean wants you to be like shooting, so good luck with that. Oh gosh. If y'all are watching, I'm going to send y'all bars of soap first. That's fine. <laughs> Can you have like a G-rated We Like Shooting show? Is that possible? I don't know. Can y'all do that, boys? Find out. Comment down below, We Like Shooting. So, thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.